But for the past six months, I've been studying really, really hard for the MCAT. And as of five days ago now, um, yeah, five days ago, um, everything's over and it's such a weight lifted off my shoulders. It feels so good. I don't really know how to transition into talking about what I want to talk about, but I just really wanted to make this so that I could have kind of a reference point to go back to when my scores come out in about a month to see how I felt about the exam because I feel like I'm going to forget. Um, but yeah, I guess the story starts with back in October, November, sometime around then when I signed up for the MCAT when I made a really stupid mistake and I signed up two days after the exam dates drop. I thought it was going to be fine. All of the slots <laughs> in Seattle were taken and the only date that was open in the entire month of January was January 20th, which is a Thursday, in Yakima, which if you guys don't know is two and a half hours away. Yeah, two and a half hours. So um, what that looked like was on Wednesday, the 19th, I, I did all my classes for the day and then I packed up my things and I drove to Yakima and stayed in a hotel that night. It was actually kind of fun. It wasn't, it was kind of like an adventure. It felt like I was going to do something really grand and exciting, which I guess it was. I didn't have classes Thursday, so I was not really stressed about anything like that. Um, I was mostly familiarizing myself with how to get to the testing center, all of that fun stuff. But um, there was one girl at my testing center that flew all the way from Arizona because of a similar mistake, which would have been a lot more of a hassle. So I'm really, really thankful I didn't have to do that. On the day of the test, I woke up around six o'clock um, because my exam was at eight and I wanted to be really early. I wanted to have like a good breakfast and everything. Um, so I woke up at six, I got ready, I ate breakfast at the hotel like bottom floor where they gave free breakfast and I was on my way. The, the testing center was only like a six minute drive or something. So it was really low stress. It was really easy. When I got there, the one thing that did surprise me was how tightly secure like the testing center was. The second I got in, they had me like scan my hand like five different times, like on each hand, I guess to make sure that I didn't have more than two hands or something, I don't know. And then they took my ID photo and um, they had me like pat down my arms and like pull out all of my pockets to make sure that I didn't have anything in them. I was wearing glasses that day, so they made me take off my glasses and they like looked at them very, very like carefully to make sure that it wasn't like some like high tech, glasses situation that I could have used to cheat. It was a lot. I was not expecting that, but I guess it makes sense because it's a really expensive test and it's a really big deal. So I understand. It just took me by surprise. Not really too much else to talk about other than um, every time I went on a break, they made me like rescan my hand and like confirm my identity with my driver's license, which was time consuming to say the least, especially on like my 10 minute breaks. As for other things when I first got there, there were only four of us taking the MCAT, which was weird. I thought there were going to be so many more people um, just because of how big of an exam it was, but there were four of us taking the MCAT and there were another five or so um, that were just there for different graduate exams that they took at the same time. So that was cool. It was nice. It helped calm my nerves definitely a lot to have other people there um, just to kind of talk through. We weren't allowed to like talk about the exam, just kind of like get to know some people, just know that they were there and that they were going to be doing the same thing as me. As far as the test went, I'll just give my individual thoughts on like every individual section. Um, chem phase was the first section. Um, I was very pleasantly surprised by chem phase because this is usually one of my worst sections. I have only taken two thirds of the, not the chemistry, the physics required for the MCAT exam. So I was really worried that the things that I haven't really studied that well were gonna be on the exam. But I was really pleasantly surprised when none of them were. Um, it was pretty basic physics in my opinion and that was the thing I was the scaredest of. I feel like chemistry isn't that bad for me. Um, and usually on chem phase, I run out of time. I don't know why this is the one section I run out of time on. I feel like usually I'm good on all the other sections often and have like a good amount of time. But for some reason, chem phase, I'm always rushing through like the last two passages, but I finished with like a good three or four minutes to spare, which was, which never happened to me during my practice exams. So that was a high note to start the exam off on. Cars, always bad, always will be bad. I wasn't surprised by that. Nothing much to say. I just don't like reading. <laughs> bio, biochem was as expected. I'm a bio major, so 
it was fine, I think. And then Psych Soch, I felt like was harder than what I'd practiced on. Um, there were some terms on there that I'd never seen before. I used blueprint flashcards to kind of just memorize all the terms. I know a lot of people use Anki and a lot of people use UWorld, but I used neither of those. Yeah, I don't know, for some reason I felt like those were easier. Maybe it was just like the groups of terms that were on those were ones that I had seen and then these ones were just ones I didn't get to. I don't know. Um, I feel like I definitely didn't study the most effectively for Psych Soch because I, I don't know, I just thought it would be easy. But I was definitely a little taken aback, but it wasn't so horrible. I don't know. I'm mostly just anxious to get my score back. I really want it to come back, but I have to wait like another another month or so, something like that. So if you'd like to see how that went, stay tuned. I'll definitely have an update. Or I'm not really sure if I will explain how I studied. I guess it'll depend on how I did. I feel like I don't want to give like bad advice and then get my score back and then have it be like really horrible. But I do think that my standards for what score I want to get based on my practice exams are pretty like reasonable, pretty average. I'm not aiming for like a 520. I just want a good enough score to get into the schools that I want to go to. Um, so hopefully I'll get that. Hopefully I won't have to take this exam again. If I do, it'll be fine. It'll be no big deal. I know that I have a lot of time and that I'm only a junior um, and it's only January. So I, I definitely have a lot of time for the cycle or for the future if that's where I want to go with this. Um, or not want to go, but if I need to delay my application, I guess it'll be fine, I guess. But yeah, I I don't know, like if I get a bad score, should I post it online? Should I not? Uh, that's a huge dilemma, but I feel like posting this online will hold me accountable and I, I'm already like thinking worst case scenario, if this is really bad, like if I do share it, like hopefully people can follow me along and see how my journey goes. I don't know. Um, this is all novel and scary to me and yeah, I don't know, but that's my update. I'm really just happy to be done. I'm going to relax and work on my essays and focus on school because I have not been doing that for the last couple weeks. Um, get back into some volunteering that I stopped doing because of the MCAT. Um, and yeah, that's, that's all that's up with me.